Welcome to Kimmer's Gaming. In this episode we will talk about one of the Atari 2600 gaming console game called Space Invaders. Space Invaders for the Atari 2600 was the first ever arcade to home game license, which became a huge bestseller, having 112 games with multiple playing variables. Discussing on the differences between the arcade version and the Atari version we see that the basics of the original arcade game remained intact. Invaders would march from one side of the screen to the other, dropping down a notch at each edge. They would fire at the player. Bunkers are available for the player's laser cannon to hide under. There are also setups with its many game variations. Atari version however, had 36 on-screen invaders rather than 55 as in the original arcade version. It also has 6 different kinds of invaders, rather than 3, plus they are also worth of different points. There are only 3 bunkers on this version rather than 4. Another difference is that this version took place on Earth, rather than on the Moon. Comparing further, in Atari version once the invaders starts to get too closer to the earth the bunkers would just disappear altogether at once instead of the invaders erasing them bit by bit as they plowed through the bunkers in arcade version. Also, instead of being a random high point value, the command alien ship does only one set point value of 200 points every time it is shot on this version. Although in some variations it is only worth a hundred. Before anyone comments, I was comparing this with the scenario when no 300 point secret was performed on the arcade version. Moving ahead, no extra laser base is awarded like on the original arcade version, and the invaders and players shots also do not cancel each other out, as they just pass through each other on this port, plus both the players and invaders shots move slower as well. There are also two small color bars at the bottom screen edges indicating the furthest points that players can move their laser cannons to. Further changes in regards to this cartridge other than playing a regular Space Invaders game includes moving shields, zigzagging laser bombs, fast laser bombs, invisible invaders and large laser cannon. In moving shields, shields move back and forth. Zigzagging laser bombs facilitates invaders shots zigzag back and forth towards earth. In invisible invaders, invaders are invisible unless one or the commander alien ship is shot after which they briefly reappear. With large laser cannon flipping a difficulty switch on Atari 2600 console to a position makes players laser cannons twice as large. Not only there are many variations as far as certain invaders characteristics go, but there are also many variations in regards to player setups as well. There are two player alternating variations, like with the original arcade game. However, there are also variations not only limited to having both players on screen, but several competing variations as well, such as ones where one player gets hit by invader fire, the other player is awarded 200 points. Others include alternating shots where when one player takes too long to fire then their laser cannon will shoot automatically. Further variations include ones where one player controls the cannon, along with one player can only move the cannon, then there is another variation in which one player could only move the cannon to right while the other player can only move it to the left. One more variation allow one movement and one shot per player, then the other player gets to do the same, and others have one player move the laser cannon while the other player fires. Coming on to its scoring. The game has pretty easy scoring structure such as row 1 invader has 5 points, row 2 has 10, row 3 has 15, then row 4 invaders has 20 points, row 5 subsequently has 25 points and row 6 invaders has 30 points. Command alien ship has 200 points apart from certain game variations which has 100 points. On competitive game variations, other players laser cannon hit provides 200 points. Before I go let me share its little secret trick. If a player holds down the game reset switch while turning the on the Atari 2600 it will result in two shots being fired at once during the game. 
Also, a bit of trivia if you may. The game comes with several label variations, which are known as picture, text, red, and silver labels. If you like this content then don't forget to like this. Follow or subscribe to Kimmer's Gaming for getting these type of content regularly and share the content if you think people should know about it.